ටවුන් එකේ විශංකයා කට ගියා නම් ඉවරයි නේ විශංකයා විශ්වාසනීය දැක්ම the full army worm or sena caterpillar as used by local media is one that is native to the americas and was first reported in africa in 2016 since then it has spread to over 40 african countries destroying thousands of acres of crops in its path the caterpillar then gripped india sri lanka's closest neighbor in may last year by the end of 2018 The fall army worm invasion had reached Sri Lanka and within 2 months became the most ominous threat to the country's agriculture in its history. With a sweet tooth for corn, the caterpillar has destroyed over 33,000 hectares of farmland in Ampara district alone and over 50% of the country's corn crop. When corn is off season, the fall army worm is able to feed on more than 180 types of crop including paddy, sugarcane, green gram, other vegetables and fruits. The pest is considered to be impossible to eradicate due to a number of reasons. With a strong immune system, it is believed to have an extraordinary ability to adapt to various environmental conditions, climate changes, and even has the capability to change against different types of pesticides. This highly active nocturnal insect, as a fully grown moth which can travel up to 100 kilometers overnight, lay between 200 to 300 eggs at a time. that makes it one of the fastest breeding members of its insect family it is however during the insect's larva stage that the fall army worm inflict the most damage to a country's agricultural sector even before growing into a half an inch long caterpillar it consumes over 20% of what it will consume in its entire life cycle by the last stages of its larva span the caterpillar becomes capable of consuming at least 75 to 80% of the total biomass of their target crop Following this mass destruction it will then burrow into the soil of the cropland and pupate for about 2 weeks before transforming into a moth to spread its demolition across another field of crop. Any attempt to eradicate this menace which is the fall army worm has proven futile thus far. The Department of Agriculture has already warned against the extensive use of pesticides in infested land in a bid to stop the fall army worm from adapting to chemical components. The only solution against this caterpillar as outlined by the Department of Agriculture is mass burning of crop as soon as an infestation is detected. On Tuesday, the Entomology Division of the Horticultural Crop Research and Development Institute imported a special batch of virus capable of combating the caterpillar from the United States. The institute is currently conducting extensive research into this batch of virus. Many researchers are currently underway to eradicate or control this insect menace that has already dealt severe damage to the agricultural sector of Sri Lanka. It is in this backdrop that First at Nine learned of a promising technology that successfully inhibits flight and mating activities of the fall army worm during its moth stage. Developed by the Japanese-owned Board of Investment Enterprise in Electronic Manufacturing Services, Tos Lanka Company Private Limited, this moth repellent system targets all types of nocturnal moths. Developed as an LED light bulb which emits a yellow light during the night, the technology deceives the insect into believing that it's daytime and in turn tricks the moth into changing its habitual practices. The LED bulb acts as a kind of a repellent of the night activities of the moths. where it prevents moths from laying of eggs as well as then in turn it prevents uh, production of caterpillars which destroys the crops this sena moth it is also a night moth this technology can be used to effectively control this uh, sena moth also currently this technology is widely used in japan to successfully combat all types of nocturnal moths in the country So what are the chances of Sri Lanka benefiting from this? These test results have shown a proven results for Sodeptera family where the this uh, sena or the fall army worm also belongs to. Therefore we again started experimenting this product in the Sri Lankan extent with the Department of Agriculture. We successfully conducted an experiment for cabbage in 2019 and also right now there are two ongoing experiments one is again for cabbage in test fields of horticultural crop research and uh, development institute in kannoru and also there is another experiment is going on for okra in mirigama with the invasion of the fall army worm sri lanka's agri sector faced a dramatic slowdown given the serious implications of the insect's free reign 
The need to arrest the spread of this pest at any stage of its life has taken utmost importance. Now it is up to the government to take this method of eradication and apply it responsibly while also lending an ear to other researchers in case there might be other successful methods to get rid of this pest because it has become abundantly clear that the government alone cannot fight this battle.